Hi, I'm Mike Zima, a Shopify marketing expert with over 1,000 reviews. So you've done the research, you've done the setup. Now, what do you do with the page optimizations? I have optimized over 100,000 pages in a few short years, and this is what we do every single time to nail our page optimizations. Your page optimizations are the first thing that your qualified click is going to see on Google, so you want to stand out, make an impression that lasts, and pop on search results. So let's go Go in right now. Hello, I'm Mike Zima and welcome to this Shopify marketing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up on-page SEO optimizations for your Shopify store. On-page SEO optimization consists of creating better titles and meta descriptions around a focus keyword for all of your Shopify store's pages from home, collections, products, and other relevant pages. Let's dive in. Step one, get all your pages. In order to know what you're going to optimize first, you need to get the full scope of your Shopify store. You can do this using Screaming Frog, a free tool that allows you to crawl up to 500 URLs. Let's get started. This is Screaming Frog. This is how you do it. Go to Screaming Frog, type in your website's URL, click start. Once the crawling is finished, click export. Open the Excel file. Open your SEO optimization workbook. Go to the All Pages tab. Copy your website's freshly crawled pages and paste. Notice it's looking for the URL, the title tag, and the current meta description. Inside of the export, I'm gonna go ahead and paste. This workbook will help you establish a base for the work you'll be doing later on. For now, all you need to do is copy your store's URLs and let the app crawl your website for you. And don't worry, we'll give you this workbook absolutely free. Step two, select the pages you wanna optimize first. In order to optimize your website's SEO, you first need to prioritize and select the pages you wanna optimize first aka the most relevant pages. The best way to select them is through hard, undeniable data. Log into Google Analytics if you haven't set it up for your Shopify store. Here's a full tutorial in the description. In the left-hand menu, choose Behavior. Click Site Content. Click All Pages. Review your site's pages and pick the ones you will optimize. Copy the URLs. Paste them into your workbook tracking tab of your SEO optimization workbook. We recommend selecting pages with a lot of impressions and possibly low CTR. If there's no data, then choose your top selling products, your best performing collections, or your core pages. These pages may include your home, your best seller, importing collections, categories, blog, or blog posts, and so on. If you want more data, search terms, or inspiration, you can always go into your Google Search Console, or you can also log into your SEMrush account and check your top performing organic pages. Now I have an idea from this example, and I went ahead and I pasted my pages here into the workbook. The workbook is going to load the title tags and the meta descriptions so I can have inspiration to see what's been working before and what needs to be optimized. Step three, find your focus keyword. For this setup, you need to choose one focus keyword for each page you will optimize. And as its name states, focus on that keyword. For this setup, you need to log into SCMrush, go into the keyword magic tool, select your country, type in the keyword you wanna research, All right, copy the chosen keyword and its search volume. So I'm gonna take Korean skincare. It has 4,400 monthly searches. And I already put that in. Copy the chosen keyword and its search volume, paste them into the title and volume column next to the corresponding URL, and repeat this for the other URLs. It's really that easy to map your keywords out for these pages. Step four, start writing. Now that you have all the pieces of the puzzle placed into your workbook, it's time to hit those keywords and start writing. In the workbook tracking tab of your SEO optimization workbook, go to the row with the URL you wanna edit. Review your current title tag 
and meta description. I don't have a meta description for my home page. And rewrite your title and include the focus keyword. Ideally, 55 characters, but you can go up to 65 characters as needed. Remember, your brand name might conflict with the length, so you have to pay attention in the total keywords. So now I'm gonna go ahead and write my title tags. Boom, I just wrote my title tags. They're good length and I'm ready to go and write my meta descriptions. Boom, my meta descriptions are done. They're the right length and I'm using these bumpers as a guide to help me write these meta descriptions. Step five, start your on-page SEO optimization. If you have everything planned, now it's time to get inside your Shopify settings and optimize your SEO. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. Follow these steps for each type of page. Optimize your homepage. Go into your Shopify store, click online store, click preferences, and go to title tag and meta description section. Copy your new title tag and meta description and hit save. Optimize your collections. Go into your Shopify store, click products, click collections, navigate to the collection page you want to edit, scroll down to the search engine listing preview, click edit website SEO, copy your new title tag and meta description. Little pro tip, you can also optimize your URL, but this isn't always necessary. You have to have good reason in order to optimize your URL and always use your Google Search Console data to influence those decisions. Click Save. Optimize your product pages. Go into your Shopify store. Click Products. Navigate to the product you want to edit. Scroll down to the Search Engine Listings Preview. Click Edit Website SEO and copy your new title tag and meta description. Click Save. Optimize your blog post. Go into your Shopify store. Click Online Store. Click Blog Posts. Go into the blog post you want to edit. Scroll down to the Search Engines Listing Preview. Click Edit Website SEO and copy your new title tags and meta descriptions. Click Save. Optimize other pages. Go into your Shopify store. Click Online Store. Click Pages. Navigate to the page you want to edit. Scroll down to Search Engine Listing Preview. Click Edit Your Website as SEO and copy your new title tag and meta description. Click Save. Step 6. Review everything. The final step is to review and double check. You should always run a spell check and review your setup. We recommend using Grammarly since it's also free. If you want to review that your optimizations are active, you can use the Moz Toolbar, a free SEO toolbar. It will provide instant metrics of any page you're currently viewing, among other things. And you're done! Thank you for watching this Shopify marketing course. Every day we're launching new Shopify marketing content to put you in the driver's seat of your business so you can have full control of your marketing and advertising. Hit subscribe, hit notifications, and tune into the next video that's starting now.